Good morning. Uh, some things that I need to say regarding um, the way we are focusing the spiritual ministry. I see that Apostolic Church is one of the most uh, powerful church in the country. Um, it is our uh, Church is established in 1954. It's almost 60 years now. And, uh, you know, our forefathers, I mean, especially the apostles who started in the ministry um, since the establishment of the church, and our pastors are a very faithful. Uh, uh, especially pastors and um, evangelists, uh, Degen elders, Deknas, and uh, from top up of down. They were the very strongest uh, post of the Apostolic Church ministry. They brought the Apostolic Church in the mighty ways to this time, and uh, we see that our church is still active today. We only need a um, very efficient and uh, effective administration. Our administration should uh, comprise of uh, accountants. Uh, we should have some legal advices that is in place. Especially we should have a private lawyer. And um, for especially if we want to do any other uh, for undertake any formalities in the uh, relations with the government and uh, other entrepreneurs. We need uh, one lawyer to uh, work on the formal side of it. And as well, uh, we need an economist, uh, we need an accountant. You know, church uh, can go in the global wide or maybe church can grow in the development of administration through uh, good accountability especially financial uh, transparency so all those financial records are filed effectively in the church and then we will move forward in bringing uh, greater progress or the change into the uh, church ministry uh, we should be looking at also uh, the government, uh, church is a non-governmental organization and we don't pay tax, especially uh, in, uh, goods and service tax paid by the uh, churches needs to be reimbursed by the government. So once we have the accountant that is in place, keep record of all the every day spending and the revenues and any business activities or whatever the financial activities that is ongoing in the church or in the ministry uh, should be effectively recorded and filed for a uh, uh, request of the uh, tax reimbursement from the government. All those things should be arranged and uh, connection and whatever needs to be done to and so all those uh, pathway must be established. Currently we don't uh, we don't reimburse uh, tax from the government. I mean, we don't uh, get reimbursement tax, uh, reimbursement of the tax from the government because of our lack of um, uh, administratively uh, arranging all those things and uh, put uh, all the commodities together and ask for the government to revance, uh, reimburse the funds that especially tax. So administratively some other things that I like needs to be fixed and uh, I believe in the Apostolic Church Ministry will go in uh, my generation personally and uh, intellectually. It will be a it is becoming a church that is being uh, shining and growing more in the Apostolic Church Ministry. So the current leaders are need to be given more advices and more closely and uh, monitor the church activities focus. And then so the church grows and began began the country and uh, save a lot of people who are lost and found empty of the message of God in their lives.
we should be encourage uh, our young people and uh, the pastors and elders on the outreaching and um, proclaiming the message of God to the places where the gospel has never gone before. I, I believe in the uh, <coughs> leadership of our Pastor Jack Lobby with uh, some intelligence, uh, young potential and genetic uh, leaders who are under his executives, I mean, under his leadership, they are working together. They will come up with a strategy plan for the development of Opus Church Ministry. We believe and hope that things will run and we will continue to pray. Opus uh, Churches, the Christians and intelligence, intelligence professionals, uh, the Christians all around the country to pray for the current leadership to continue to work on those uh, missing, uh, missing uh, some of the missing things in the administrative needs to be effectively restored and uh, as a new connection to ensure so church go uh, in administratively um, effectively and uh, must uh, grow big and big in the country and throughout the world. Uh, we believe in the growth of Apostolic Church ministry through the current leadership. And uh, I'm urging all the Apostolic Church Christians and pastors, uh, church elders all over the country to pray for the current leadership. They have a vision and uh, some sort of uh, vision to bring Apostolic Church into next dimension. May God bless you all. Let's uh, keep in touch. We are in tune in spirit and one. Uh, we are the apostolic Christians of Papua New Guinea. We work towards the greater development of the apostolic church ministry and faith. Continue to pray to God for the possibilities and betterment of the apostolic church ministry so that we will continue to save a lot of people in this country through the ministry. Uh, may God bless you all. Thank you everyone for uh, reason. We will continue to update of what's going on in the Apostolic Church Ministry and the Music Ministry and the Music Ministry and the Church from my perspective of view. Uh, thank you and may God bless.